Okay, remember on these ones, you need to have two heartbeats. At the end. Try again. Good morning, guys. It is a Tuesday morning around here, and I haven't picked up the camera in quite a few days. I planned to do some vlogging over the weekend, but it just didn't happen. I ended up having a really bad headache on Saturday and Sunday, and we didn't even make it to church. I just wasn't feeling good, and Carlo had a lot of work that he had to get done over the weekend, so we kind of just laid low and didn't really do a whole lot over the weekend. Um, so, I haven't picked up the camera in a few days, but today is Tuesday. We've got ladies over here working on some homeschool work. Malachi's upstairs doing his math. Um, and I told everybody this morning if we can get everything done real quick um, before lunchtime, we are going to go to the store. We are about... Um, a week in after doing our big food shop and so we need to go pick up some fruit <laughs> some fruit and some veggies and things we're running out of um, this is the state of our fruits right now we've got a couple bananas left and a pear and we've got a couple random apples left in our fridge but that is about it so we're gonna head to the store if we can get all of our homeschool done real quick right ladies <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're working hard over here. Mila's working on her piano. Anyways, I am trying to drink some more water because I don't usually get headaches when I'm pregnant. It's not something that I struggle with at all, but I think that the main reason I'm getting them is that I'm just dehydrated and I really like water. I try and drink it, but the problem is that I just, I just forget to drink enough water. So one of the things on my list is I'm going to try and find one of those water bottles that um, gives you encouragement and says, yay, keep drinking. Um, and hopefully that'll help because I think I've just been really dehydrated and I need to drink some more. Anyways, that's what we've got going on this morning. Is that your coyote? <laughs> That's cool. Looks good. Okay, go do the writing then, please. Okay, guys. I have a very fussy baby on my hands today. This girl has a snotty nose again, and I feel so bad. I have wiped her nose about a million times this morning. So when we go to the store, I also need to buy some nice... Do you want to get down? I also need to buy some nice Kleenex because the toilet paper that I've been using and handkerchiefs are not cutting it. Here, you wanna play with this? So this room here, this is our homeschool piano. I feel like every time I vlog in this room, it is a disaster. <laughs> It is always a disaster. Um, when my mother-in-law was here last week, she said, oh, Heather, oh my gosh, you have a big job. What are you gonna do about that room? And the reality is lots of life happens in this room and it is just always a mess. Hey, Mila, Mila, can you just pause for two seconds? Anyways, she had one suggestion though that I think we're going to try and that is, so this area over here, for one, I don't have a good spot to store Shiloh's standing frame, which, if I'm real honest, uh, this thing is just kind of an eyesore to me. I don't love looking at it, and I don't love having it out, but we just don't have a spot for it right now. But these double doors go out to our backyard, our garden where the kids play outside a lot, and there's a lot of traffic in and out of this room but there is also a lot of traffic in and out of our back door that leads off of our kitchen and I'm finding that there is cold air when the door gets left open which happens a lot coming in hold on hold on I'll look at it in a second 
um, in this room and in the kitchen room. So my mother-in-law said, why don't you just lock that door and put something in front of it and just have access to the backyard from one spot. So I think we're gonna try that and hopefully not having people run through this room outside all the time may help a little bit. Oh, okay. More nice drawings. Ooh. Cool. Good stuff. We're getting done with our schoolwork. We still have some hairs to do. Oh, and this one. What, what is this? I don't know. You don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got hairs. We've got hairs still to do. But we are almost done our schoolwork and we're going to get outside. Yeah, we don't pick berries. You don't know and eat them. <laughs> Carlo is at work today, so we are walking. And it's real cold. <laughs> You're looking very stylish in my gloves. Are your hands warm? <laughs> Silo is much happier since we came outside. Are you a friend with a bugger bang? Are you? <laughs> Find some nutcrackers. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> All the Christmas stuff is out. Well, that trip turned in to a little bit of a disaster, if I'm honest. I stopped filming because Shiloh was not having it. We stopped and I got the kids some lunch and let them eat and play at the park for a bit and that was all good. Um, however, I forgot that because of the time of day over lunch that we went out, all of the school kids that go to the schools around the store that we went to would be coming out for lunch. So the store was absolutely mobbed with teenagers getting their lunch. And Shiloh was just having meltdowns. So we're done now. And I am glad we are going home because that was not fun. Also, if I'm breathing heavy, it is because, woo! <laughs> I got it. I'm pushing this home, which I used to do every week. But since we've had a car, I have become spoiled. <laughs> and so now I am regretting our decision to go to the store and thinking why didn't I wait till tomorrow when Carlo is working from home. Oh well, it's good exercise. Plus, it was really nice outside. <laughs> All right, we are home from our little shopping adventure out. Shiloh is feeling much happier. Um, so I thought I would show you real quick what we get. This is kind of our little fill-in grocery haul. We go shopping twice a month. So every two weeks we do a big food shop and then about a weekend we have to go back and get some more vegetables and fruit and bread and stuff. So I will just show you what I got. All right, so we've got some more apples, some red apples, some green apples, some lemons. We've got 
more little clementine oranges and some bananas. We have blueberries, mostly for the baby. This The girl eats these up like nobody's business. She just shoves them all in her mouth. So they don't last too long. We've got two packs of grapes, some bread, some celery. They had some salad that was on sale reduced and it still looked really in nice condition so we're just gonna have that for dinner tonight i got a bunch more cucumbers my girls have been loving just having cucumber as a snack and they have like half of it each and they just gobble it up we have some more eggs i got two of these but a little person has already been helping me put some away we got some strawberries one thing of apple juice so that i can keep trying to keep the snotty noses away put some vitamin c powder into that and it does help dry up noses um but yeah we got a lot of snot going on around here um i got this i've never tried it we do drink a lot of almond milk um and oat milk usually but i found this one that has coffee and caramel and i thought that might be nice to have in coffee so I've never tried this, but it looked good. So I'm gonna try that out. And then while Shiloh was having her big screaming meltdowns in the store <laughs> and crying a lot, I saw these and they were all reduced to 183. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get three of those and that is gonna be dinner. So that's what's going on tonight. Um, and that'll make things easy. So I got all of that from Asda. And then over here, this stuff is from Pound Stretcher, which is kind of a discount um, pound shop, dollar store sort of a place. Anyways, we were running really low on toothpaste. So we got some big people toothpaste and some little kid toothpaste. These are for a chemistry experiment that we're gonna do. More toothbrushes. Some nail polish remover because certain people have gotten nail polish all over my table. I got some of these for Shiloh to try out. They were 39p and she's already eaten a little pack. They're kind of like soft wafer things that kind of melt in your mouth. Um, and then I was so excited because sometimes at the pound stretcher by us, they have a lot of these. <laughs> I can see you. They have a lot of these like baby fruit pouch things um usually really discounted so all of these were 79p and these were 39p these ones have two big pots and these have four pouches each and they are all still dated for the 9th of may 2020. i use these usually to pop into shiloh's baby oatmeal in the morning um if you can get them on sale because they are about 350 if you buy them in asda or tesco or something like that so i got a whole bunch of those i got some christmas tree hooks that we always need what are you banging <laughs> um some candy canes to go in stockings <laughs> these were to go in carlo and malachi's stockings we usually put this kind of stuff in stockings it's just man smelling body gel stuff malachi already saw it though so oh well i got these i thought they were so cute for christmas time we'll probably hang them up in the window or something but they're little robin things and then i got a bunch of packs of kleenex for the baby's snotty nose is that gonna help with your snotters Hopefully, she's got some watered down, some of that watered down apple juice with some vitamin C. And we broke into the blueberries already. These are those crisp bread snacky thingies. Yum, yum. <laughs> yum, yum. I forgot to tell you how much our little fill-in haul cost. I started putting it away already um, and had to put that baby in the chair to give her a snack but um all of the stuff at asda i spent 34 pounds on i almost said dollars 
um, 34 pounds on and the stuff from Pound Stretcher, which is the discount store, um, we spent 28 pounds. So that was good. That was good for us. Did you want to tell everybody that you took a 15 minute nap in the pram on the way home? 15 minutes. <laughs> Uh, you would think after having six kids that I have the nap thing down and I know exactly what I'm doing, but I do not at all. This girl does not sleep. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. How come you don't sleep? <laughs> How come you don't sleep in the daytime? Good thing she sleeps well at night, right?